Okay, so these lectures we will focus on a forward with agreement. In class, we study, you know, the different forward contract, and our forward with agreement is a special case of the forward contract, right? And the rate here, that means what? Means the interest rate, right? So the forward with agreement means in the future, right, the borrowers will make our loans, right, use the rate specified in this contract, right, so we specify the interest rate in this contract. And for our chapter, chapter 7 and chapter 10, right, our focus is to pricing and the valuation of what? Fault rate agreement, right, so the pricing means what? means the how much you will pay for this contract and the valuations you can see the detail for our coming sites by right? the valuation actually means the cash settlement right to clear right this contract in the future right so let's see the definition of the FIA FIA is a over the counter forward contract Right. And the underlying asset is the interest rate. And because we using the dollars right, in a foreign country, we call this one as what? As Euro dollars, right? Euro dollars. And our benchmark interest rate is double, right? So our interest rate in the contract is a level rate. Right? So this one is similar to what we have covered in the previous video, right? So forward rate agreement underlying asset is a level, right? So in our previous examples, right, I want to buy the iPhone right, from a dealer right, in three months later. Right? So the iPhone is my underlying asset between the dealer and right, selling the iPhone. Right? So my profit or loss is based on the price of the iPhone. Right? If the iPhone price is higher in the market than the price we specify in the contract, I will take a gain, right? The dealer will take a loss. Right? So it's always involved two parties. Right? Once the you know the long position of the forward contract, right? The other party is called counterparties, right? It's the short position of the forward contract. And you can see here, right, for long positions, right, they have the obligations to make a loan, right, with the rate, with the interest rate specified in the contract, right. And for the short positions, right, it's the people will lend in the money, right, for the people take a long position, right. So the short position holder or has an uh, obligation to make a loan right, with the rate specified in the contract. So how this position holder will make a gain or loss is based on the future interest rate. Right? If the future interest rate in the market more than the interest rate specified in the contract, right, then our long position will make a profit right because they can borrow money with a lower interest right, compared with the market rate in the future and like i mentioned right we have the two purpose to buy the forward either can be what can be the hedging by right, hedging the risk right or can do some what speculation right? Spec speculation to make a short term profit so let's see the notation of the forward rate agreement right for the FIA we always use the A by B right so A and B both are number of the months right A means what means in how many months our FIA contract will expire, right? And for the B, 
is number of the months from now until underlying loans will be settled. And so, for example, for the swing by 9 FIA, you can see our chart here. Right? This chart is very important. Right? We need to use this chart a lot right, to solve FIA questions. So the first part is the swing months. Right? Means, you know, you will sign this contract for FIA. How long this FIA will be effective? It will be for what? For the three months. Right? So for the three months, right? You were holding this contract. Then on the third months, right? Then you will see what happened right, to your contract by compare our contract rate with the market rate. Right? So after three months, FIA will expire. Then you know the two parties will have a loan. Right? So the loan actually stayed for how many months? For from the three to nine will account forward for the six months loans. And right? so after FIA expired, right, the loan will be become effective. And right? so the loan will made in the next six months. Right? So that's why we have the three by nine, you know, terms. Right? Three means how long for the FIA contract. Right? So six is additional six for a long period. Right? So total will be nine months. Right? So we have a three by nine FIA. And how to use FIA? You can see here. Right? FIA will lock the interest rate. Right? So if you want to make a loan in the future, right? either pay the debt for your company or you want to expand in your business and right? you want to make a loan in the future, you are worried interest rate will be surge. Interest rate will go up too quickly, right? It will be you know more than what you can affordable for the cost of the borrowing. Right? In such case you want to lock the interest rate. Right, so you will send FIA contract. Right, you will pay, you know, the interest rate specified right in the contract. Even when the market has interest rate very high in the future, you can still pay the interest rate right specified in the contract. So you want to hedge the risk of the borrowing. Okay. And also, some people maybe don't want to make a real loan. Right? They just want to, you know, get some profit if they forecast future interest rate will go up. Right? Then they will make a uh, what? They will also purchase FIA. Right? Then once the interest rate goes up, this guy will get paid right, with the interest difference. So these people is not hedging the risk. Right? These people is want to do to, to, uh, speculation. Speculation. Okay. So one party will pay the other parties the difference between the interest rate specified in a contract and interest rate on the market right, in the future. So for speculators, right, these guys will not make the real loans and they just want to get paid from the other parties. Right? So that's why we call this loan as a what? Notional loans, right? Something you expected, right? Maybe not really happened, right? Just something on the paper, right? It's not actually will be made, right? So for speculators, right? They will not make real loans, right? So you can see that's how that's why we put a notional before the value here, right? Something on a notion, right? On a paper. So you can see we have a summary here. Right? If the forward rate less than the spot rate, right, the long position will receive the payment. However, if the forward rate more than the spot rate, the short position will receive the payment. Right? For now, I don't want you to 
memorize these rules, and we can show this one later with more explanations about these rules. You can see the examples very quickly. Right? So the price of FIA actually is the interest rate you signed in the contract when you purchase, purchase FIA. Right? So when we do the pricing of the FIA, right, actually we want to determine right, what's the rational interest rate you will sign for this contract and uh, how to solve it. Right? How to solve it. Actually, we use our spot interest rate. You can see the detail for this part by right? use the following example. Our FIA rate is a unbiased estimate of what? Forward rate. And for the level, right? we know the level is a simple interest. Right? And also it is a add-on rate. Right? It's quoted on the what? On a daily basis. Right? So our level is a what? It's within a year, right? So it's a money market instrument, right? For any financial instrument, more than a year, right? We call it a capital market, right? But if we have the you know interest stay within a year, right? We call this one as a money market instrument. Okay, now let's say how to pricing FIA and you can see our formula here right so I, w I don't want you to memorize this formula right it's not easy to apply the formula right with so many you know symbols right so many notations right so with better right use our example right, to show how can we do the pricing of FIA for example in this example Based on the market quotes on the Canadian dollars, I right, say dollars level, right? You can see the dollar, even it is issued right, in the US, but we will use this dollar right, in the Canadian, right? So that's why we call this as our word, euro dollars, right? And uh, we use the level as what? Reference rate. And uh, based on the market quote right, on time zero, Right, you found out the six months level right, for the euro dollars right, is the 1.5 percent, and for nine months Canadian dollars level right, it is 1.75 percent. So these two numbers, you can see the nine months level is higher than six months level. The numbers actually make sense because what? The longer you borrow the money, right, the higher of interest rate you will pay. Right? Because for the bank, the right, bank is the loan maker, right? so they lending the money out. Right? So the longer of the loans, of course, is more riskier for the bank. Right? So they will charge a higher interest rate. Right? So you can see from the you know, statement here, right? we got a six months what? level rate and also nine months level rate on the time zero. Assuming right, our interest rate is based on the daily right, and every month by right, 30 days per month. Right? So you need to solve what? You need to solve the 6 by 9 FIA fixed rate. Right? Let's draw this FIA right, on this paper here right, to see what's going on right, in the loans. So we have what? We have the Total nine months, right? Zero and nine, right? And FI will be valid for what? For the six months, right? So you can see this is for the FIA, right? And this is for what? For loans, right? Suppose I right, suppose you have the two options right, to borrow I nine months loans right, from the bank. There are two ways. Right. The first way you will borrow a loan 
directly forward for nine months, right? So how much interest you will pay, right? Will be one plus one point seventy five percent. This is for the level, right? Level for level we know it is a annual rate right, from the bank, but we have the what we have the nine months only, so we will divide by twelve times by what by nine. And that's how much you will pay for what for nine months direct loans that you made from the bank. Or you can have another options, right? These options will allow you to borrow loans first for the six months. Then after that, you will continue to borrow loans for the next three months. So it will also total what nine months, right? Then how to solve the interest? We can see here, right? It will be one plus the six months loans will be charged what 1.5 percent, 1.5 percent over 12, right? Times by what six, right? That's for the first six months. However, it's not finished yet, and right? you need to continue to roll in the loans for the next three months. So we have the one plus what. 1 plus the rate for these 3 months, right? This is actually the FIA rate, right? Because after 6 months passed, you will use the rate right, in the contract, right? To continue your loans for the next 3 months, right? So this FIA is next 3 months, right? So FIA rate right, in the contract for the next 3 months. Divided by what? Divided by the 12 months Right. FIA also will borrow in a level. A right. level is a 12 months rate in a quote. Right. So we always divide by 12. Now we need to times what? By 3 because it is for 3 months loans here. Right. And then you can see if our contract are made with no arbitrage, right, then these two paths will generate the same what? Same cost. For loans, right? So it means our two ways should be what should be equalized, right? So now we can put these two, you know, calculations together to build our equations, right? One plus one point seventy five percent over twelve times by nine equal to one plus one point five percent raised divided by twelve times six, then times what? times 1 plus x, x is what you, you want to solve, right, for the 3 months loan, right, divided by 12 times 3. So that's our equations, right, to solve our forward rate, right, for our contract. You can see our calculations here, right. So in these calculation solutions, you can see we're not using the months, right, we use the how many days, right, so it's 9, months, it's six months and it's three months, right? But it's not necessary as I said, right? Because all the forward forward rate agreement they will be borrowed, right? The loan will be borrowed month by month. Right? No one will borrow loans right for FIA contract right? and for the Euro dollar loans right for the daily. Right? So you are not recommend right to convert months to the days, right? It's better just keep the months in your calculations, right? It will be much easier to solve the answer, right? So you can see, based on our previous calculations, right? You actually just solve the rate directly, use what? Use the months, right? It's much, much easier to compute. And then you, you know, you will check the answer. It will be same as what? 2.22%. Right, so that's what we want to solve. Right, that's what we want to solve. Right, so what this one means? Means you know after six months, right, if you want to borrow loans right, for the, for the next three months, how much you willing to pay? It will be what? Two point twenty two percent. Right, it's a rational rate 
right, should be signed in the contract right, for the future right, in the next six months, right, for the three months loans. Right? Okay, so that's our first goal. Right? We will do the pricing of FRA. Right? The pricing here right, means the interest rate. Right? You will sign in a what? In a contract. Right? So you can tell from these calculations. Right? FRA rate is not a random number. Right? But some rate should be, you know, should be rational. No lies. Our future possible, you know, hedging of the interest rate risk in the market. Next goal for this study, right, we will do something forward. Valuations, right? Valuation actually is to solve the amount of the money, right? You should deliver. or should get paid, right? When our FIA expired right you see we have the a by b fra right? so we have the zero a and b right so our fra will be valid for what for the a period right? or a months right then our loans right will be valid for the b minus a months Right? So you can say, you know, when a month passed, right, and uh, our FI actually will be expired, right? So if you want to check how much money you will be paid or delivered, right, then we will do something called, called valuation. Right? So valuation actually happened on what? On the t equal to the a, right? when we actually observe right, how much charge on the real market, right? Then we can make a decision, right? Who will pay who, right? And how much should be paid, right? For example, right, on the time equal to the a, you found out, right, You found out our real market interest rate is higher than the interest rate in FIA, right? Then long position will be paid less than the market, right? So this guy will get what? Get paid from the short position, right? So the amount will be what? Will be the interest saving, right? Between the specified rate in the contract and the market rate, right? And you can see we have a formula here, right? to solve the delivered amount of the interest on the time A, right? But it's not easy, like I said, to memorize the formula every time, right? So you'd better to base on my method, right, showing in the following examples, right, to solve these questions, right? So let me see the, show the examples, right? So our examples involve uh, questions, right, for our one by four, FIA, right? So our, our FIA has what? One and four, right? So the terms will be 30 days for every month, right? Our notional amount for loans will be a million dollars. And our underlying rate is the 90 days level, right? Why, why this one should be 90 days? Because you can see our loans. Right? is what? 4 minus 1 will be what? 3 months. Every month have what? 30 days. So that's why we have 90 days level as our underlying rate for this loan. Right? Our fault rate is 7%. Right? Our and uh, this rate it's actually what we signed in the contract, right, on time zero, right? And this is the rate you sign in the contract, right? And you will borrow the loans, right, from the one to four, right? 
and the interest rate what seven percent, right? And you are not sure what what will be happened, right, on the real market, right, on time war, right? Maybe higher than this one, or maybe you know less than this one. You are not sure, right? But you will pay this rate, right? You you lock your what your interest rate, right, in the future. So what happened in the real market? You can see here, in the time one, right, in the 30 days, right, our real market shows the three months loans interest will be eight percent, right? Because after one month passed, you are now on the time one. You can observe right what's the real rate. You found out it's eight percent, right? and eight percent is what more than some percent right? it's, it's different from the rate in your contract right so now that's why we need to determine right what's the amount for this contract and who will pay who right in this situation okay now let's put the numbers right into this graph right you can see here, you sign a contract for 7%, right? And the real market rate is what? 8%, right? Market rate, more than a contract rate, right? So our long positions can save the interest, right? Should be paid less than the market, right? So long position, right? Will save the cost. But short positions, right? They will take a loss because if they not sign a contract before, right? They can charge eight percent interest, but now they can only charge what seven percent, right? So long position will be what will be save the cost, but short position will lose the money, right? So who will pay whom? Will short position, right? To pay what? To pay the long positions, right? But how much they will pay right, is based on how much interest can be saved right, between these two rates. Right, so let's see the calculations. So we have our 1 million loans. Right, 1 million loans. Right? And uh, how much interest we can save will be 8%. Right? Minus what? 7%. That's the interest rate difference. But keep in mind that right, all the rate we mentioned is what? Label rate. Label is a annual interest rate quote. Right? So but our loans is only for what? For three months. Right? So we should what? Divide by twelve then times what? Three. Right? So that's how much interest can be saved for these three months loans. But also be careful, right? The difference of the interest will be what? Will be delivered between the two parties, right? On what? On what time? It's not on the time one, time zero, but on what? On time four, right? You know if there are two parties, right? Try to make a loans, right? The interest will be charged at the end of what? At the end of the contract. Right? No one will pay the interest before the contract start. Right? For loans, right, the interest will be paid at each period, right? at the end of what business cycle, right? at the end of the contract. Right? So our interest will be paid on what? On time four, right? on time four. But as you know, right, we want to check how much they will deliver the payment. It's not on time four, but on time one, because we have a notional loans, right? Not everyone really willing to, you know, to make these loans, right? They just want to make some money, right? So on time one, when the FIA expired, they need to what, determine how much money they can save, right? But the value is on time four, right? You want to check the value of this money is on what? Time one, right? So there's a time gap, right? We know our money has what? Time value of money, right? So we want to discount 
the interest difference on time four to time one may to say how much interest actually can be saved on time one. Right, so we will do a discounting. Right? Discounting what? Discounting this amount right, to time one. Right, so we have the one times eight minus seven percent. Right, divided by twelve times three. That's the interest will be saved on time four. Now we will discount this one to to time one. Right, so we have the one plus right our discount rate. Right, is the market rate for this what for this three months. Right. Is eight percent. Eight percent is also a uh, annual rate, so we will divide by twelve times what three. Okay. So this is the interest will be paid on time four. Right. With the discounting process, you solve how much interest can save on the time one. Right. So that's the deliver amount right from the short position to the long position on time one. So this part, what we solve, follow these calculations, right, will be what? Will be the valuation of the FIA. Or you can say how much will be delivered, right, on the time of the expiration of FIA. Okay? And you can solve this one, right, with your calculations on the paper, right? And amount should be what? $2,458.98. Right. So that means the short position, right? Short positions will pay the long positions, right? For this amount to close the contract on time one, right? So there's no actual loan will be made, right? If these payments are made, right? Then FI will be naturally, you know, expired, right? Loan will be not made, right? Just like the same thing we mentioned in the previous videos, right? Previous lectures. There are two way of the uh, what? Two way of settlement. Right? Once what once the physical settlement, right? Means the uh, you know the parties will actually deliver the real goods right, to the other co other counterparties, right? For example, right like the iPhone case, right? The dealer will set shipping real iPhone to me, right? So this case called our what? Physical settlement, right? But for most case of the forward contract, we will prefer what? Cash settlement, right? So means the, the two parties will not ship in real goods, right? So before the loans actually made, right, they just pay the cash, right? Then no one will pay the loans right in the future, right? So why we have the cash Settlements is more popular because in the real market, right? For example, for the you know for the Chicago market, right? For the Chicago market, there are so many forward and the futures, right? And uh, some Chicago you know forward is underlying asset is what is the agricultural goods, right? Agricultural goods, right? For example, like the corns, right? Like the beans, right? So tons of the coins will be in one contract, right? So if they don't, you know, settle with the cash, right? Then, uh, you know, shop position will shipping a high volume of the coins or beans, right? In the counter counterparties, right? In the long position holder will receive this, you know, agricultural goods, right? They must have a warehouse, right? They must pay the shipping costs, right? So it's not good, right? So no one will need to take physical payment. Settlement, right? So most forward will be settled with the cash, right? So let's repeat our calculation again, right? First, you will solve the how much interest you will solve, you will save right, for these transactions, right? For the three months loans, how much interest you can save, right? You can say this is three months, right? Out of the 12 months, right? What's interest you can save? Then you will discount the level rate right to the time one to see what's the value of this interest saving on time one right when you settle this contract right for cash settlement right so once this amount are paid right there will be no loan will be happen in the real market right because 
this amount that is actually what you will receive in the future. You want to get this payment down earlier, right? that's why we solve this value right? on time one. Okay, so another example, right? In these examples, right, with with small word, with small sentence, right? So please read this information with the detail, right? You can see here. In the 30 days, a UK company is starting to make our a deposit, right? So the bank want to make a deposit, right? For how much? For 10 million, right? So 10 million is our notional value. Right, and for a period of what 90 days, right? So it is a three months what three months loans, right? The company is concerned about a decrease in the interest rate, right? Because the companies deposit money right in the bank, right? So they don't want they get paid with less interest. Right. So the financial advisor suggests the companies to negotiate a forward contract with what with the bank right, to lock the interest. So they send a what one by four FIA. Right? Because you see the money will be not deposited right now, right? but deposit in one month later. Right? So you can see the FIA will be for one month, right? And the loans will be what? For the three months, right, so we have the 1 by 4 FIA, right, 1 by 4 FIA, loan will be st last forward for the three months, right, an instrument that will be expired in 30 days, based on the 90 days level, right, the company enters into a 10 million notional amount FIA right, based on this one by four months time frame, right? And this FIA will be advanced settled, right? What's advanced settled? Means it will be paid earlier, right? So before the you know before the deposit actually made for the three months, right? They will try to settle, right? How much it will be delivered right, between the two parties, right? So that's the questions about. So let's see what's the question asked you to solve. We want to solve what? After 30 days, right, 90 days, level in the British pound actually is what? 0.55%. Right? However, our FIA is initially priced with what? 0.6%. Right? So who will make the payment? Right? And how much it will be paid? Right? So before we start to do the calculations, right? Let's show something here with more details, right? So who lending the money? Be careful in this in these examples, right? Our companies deposit money in what? Deposit money into the bank. Right? So the companies actually, you know lending the money to the bank and right? so our company is our what is a short position right our banks borrow the money right when they receive the money from the bank they actually borrow money from companies right so the bank is our what long position right and our FIA contracts, what? Is one, two, four FIA, right? And uh, when they send a contract, right, the interest rate is what? Is 0.6%, right, that's FIA rate, that's the forward rate. But what's the actual rate on the market, right? In the in the one month, right? The spot rate 
right? On time one, right? It's equal to what? Equal to the 0.55 percent, right? So our spot rate in the market is less than what? Less than the fault rate. Right, in such case, right, long position will pay the money toward to the short positions. Because the long position holder, they can actually get a loan with a lower interest rate on the market, but based on the contract, they need to pay even more. Right, so long position should be paid the money to short positions right, for this contract. So our bank, our bank right, holding long position, so bank wants to pay the money to to the to the company. Right, to the company. Right. So how much they will pay is our goal to solve these questions. Right. You can see here, right, for this one by four FIA, right? The loan is for the three months, right? And what's the interest can be saved? Will be zero point six percent, right? Minus zero point five five percent, right? So that's for the interest rate difference, right? And this one is only for what? For the three months loans, right? So this is uh, our annual rate, and so must divide by 12 times what? Times by 3, right? And what's the notional amount for these loans? The notional amount for loans is 10 million pounds, right? So we need to times what? 10 million British pounds, right? And this is how much interest can be actually saved on the time 4, right? Now we want to discount this value to time one to see how much money should be delivered right, when the contract settled. Right, so we will do the discounted value for this amount right, using one plus what? One plus the interest rate right, for these three months. Right. Our market rate is what? Our market rate is uh, 0.55%. Right. So one plus 0.55% and this is for 3 months only so divide by 12 right? divide by 12 then times 3 right? and for these calculations you can see we, we do in this way right? first we solve interest should be paid on the time 4 then we will discount this one to time 1 right? for the 3 months to solve what actually should be delivered from the bank to the company right? And you can see our calculations right, on the slides right, with the details. Right? First, we solve the interest difference. Now we will discount this one right, for what? For the three months right, to see what's the actual pound should be paid from the bank to the company. Right? So this 0 0.25 is the three over 12. Right? Three months of, out of 12 months. Right? This one same, three over 12. So if you have any questions about these FIA topics, right, please write your comments below my video, right, so I can, you know, re respond to your comments right, for this part, right. FIA is very important word, very important topics, right, for both our course by right, international finance and also for the CFA test. FIA is a very important topics right, in both level one and level three and level two right so let's review this one again here right so for FIA fault rate agreement right we have the two you know calculations covered in this video one is the pricing right pricing for example we have the a by B FIA, right? So zero A and B, right? So we want to check the rate for this, you know, B minus A months, right? How can we do that? 
So on the time zero, you you observe what you observe the interest rate for a per a month and what b months, right? So we call this one as what? For example, spot rate, right? A months as spot rate, b months, right? and this is the fault rate, right? So we call f, right? Fault rate, right? From a to to b, right? So how can we solve this fault rate? Right, let's do this one again. Right? One plus S A as the uh, A month rate should be divided by twelve times the A should be equal to what? One plus times in this for the A period, right? For the A period. Right? And for the next A B minus A period should be one plus what? F A B right fault rate over what twelve months times what times the B minus A months right equal to what equal to the you know if you borrow directly forward B months right so one plus S B right over twelve times B right so that's the formula right but like I mentioned you don't need to Memorize this formula, right? If you know what's going on, right, for the pricing, it will be okay, right, to solve this one, right? So there are two ways to borrow loans, right? Once you borrow A months first, then plus the next, you know, B minus A months equal to total what B months, or you borrow the loan directly forward B months. These two should be what equalized, right? So that's for the pricing, right? And the follow valuations, I right, follow valuations, right, we can also summarize here. So here is, is the valuation. Right? Valuations, our goal is to what? To determine what's the cash settlement, right? And from who to whom, right? So we can see here, for A, you know, for the fault rate, right? A, B, and let's see what's going on. A and B, right? And this one is the fault rate. F, A, B, right? Our time equal to A, we also observe our spot rate on A, right? And these two is different, right? It's not equal. So we can save the interest for the next what? B minus A period, right? So what's the interest can be saved is here, right? Is the A F B the fault rate, right? Minus spot rate on A, right? And that's the interest difference, right? Should divide by twelve, right? Times what? B minus A period months, right, and it's for the notional, notional value, right, it's what's the value for the loans, right, but this is for the interest saving on what, on the time B, we must to check the value on what, on time A, right, so we need to do uh, what, we need to do a uh, discounting, a uh, discounting, right, Right. So how to discount this one? We use our discount rate, right? That's the spot rate, right? For this period, right? So S A over what? Twelve times what? B minus A, right? So that's the valuations, right? We can solve, right? For how much should be delivered, right? From one party, right? To the other parties, right? If the if the spot rate, right, if the spot rate, right, in this case, right, if the spot rate on time A, right, more than the fault rate signed in the contract, right, the long position will be what? Will make the money, right? So you can see the short positions, right, will pay what? will pay the long positions, 
right? So the deliver of a settlement, right? Will from the short position toward to long position, right? If a spot rate on time A less than the forward rate, right? So as long positions can even borrow less from the market than what they said in the contract, right? So long position will take a loss, right? So they will pay the money toward, they will pay the money toward to the short positions, right? So our deliver of the money right, for settlement will be from a long position toward to the short positions, right? Okay, so that's for today's uh, videos right, for the forward rate agreement. Right, so I try my best right, to show the examples right, to help you to summarize the calculations right, in the detail. Right. So I think I cover all the examples I have. Right. So please do your homework right, to check these formulas and these calculations and understanding what's the forward rate agreement.